Okay, thanks. Uh, first of all, thanks for uh, giving me opportunity to share my uh, experience in uh, uh, in forming a spin-off company. So my name is uh, Muhammad Adik bin Sarijari. I'm from Kota Tinggi Johor. My background is in uh, telecommunication engineering. I obtained my uh, PhD in uh, from TU Delft, the Netherlands. Uh, my master and my bachelor degree is uh, from UTM. I work in UTM Johor Bahru and uh, I am the founder of uh, uh, UTM speed, IoT based spin off company called Innovation and Advanced Technology Solution Inets. Uh, this is uh, an IoT based spin off company. IoT is actually a technology that is going to change uh, on how we live. Uh, from the air conditioner that we have in house that we can control via our smartphone to uh, the smart shoes that you uh, wear that can tell how many steps and calories you have burned. And all these are made possible by actually uh, equipping uh, the physical device with the sensors uh, and connecting them uh, to one another uh, via the internet. That's why they are called Internet of Things. And the physical device can be almost everything, can come across uh, all your day-to-day -day life uh, devices such as uh, smartphone, uh, electrical appliances, vehicles, uh, traffic light, even uh, your toothbrush. Okay, uh, okay, one of the main uh, mission of uh, the spin-off company in it is actually to bring the IoT technology from the lab to be commercially used. Uh, we want to reach and boost the IoT uh, technology adaptation uh, of the nation. So today, to date, uh, Innate solution have reached a uh, wide number of beneficiaries, ranging from government agencies, including universities, to local as well as multinational companies such as uh, MMHE in Pasir Gudang, UMW. Uh, Shimano, uh, BDB, and many more, with many IoT solutions delivered, including our office and access system, warehouse management system using passive RFID, uh, spool uh, that is oil and gas pipe tracking system. This is using uh, active RFID, uh, waste management system using geofencing technology, and uh, we got many more. And uh, from Inet, our one uh, this uh, the Guard Expert Pro, which I have today, uh, is actually our uh, flagship product. Uh, this is an IoT-based uh, security guard patrolling management system, which provide real-time and convenient management of uh, your security guard. Among the basic function of this uh, Guard Expert Pro is actually. Uh, to monitor the touring activity of uh, the guard, uh, which provide a real-time position of the guard. We have uh, RFID and NFC geofen or also geofencing-based checkpoint scan and secure, secure login uh, to the system so that uh, the right guard uh, will do the right uh, patrolling activities. And uh, this guide expert pro also provide reporting uh, features, which, uh, as you might know, uh, today the report is being actually being uh, written by hand in a logbook, and it is located at the at certain places. So this report is actually made by uh, the guide when they are reach that uh, places. But now they can do the report uh, through the system here provided. And the report will be sent uh, in real time to the system, so that it can be view can be viewed from anywhere at any time. Furthermore, the collected uh, report can be processed with data analytic technology, which will produce more more meaningful uh, insight. Okay. Uh, next uh, is the challenges. Okay. Right. Uh, of course, uh, there are a lot of challenges in uh, running a startup, and one of the biggest challenging challenges uh, to me is uh, time management. Okay, for your information, beside in it, uh, I am also attached as an associate fellow of uh, UTM Digital Service Department or UTM Digital. Uh, I'm coordinating the IoT-based initiative in UTM. 
Uh, as well, I'm also active in grooming students to be excellent in innovation and entrepreneur beyond the classroom, uh, with being the founder and one of the advisor to uh, Jazari Innovation Club UTM. Of course, I'm also a lecturer. And uh, in this semester, I'm assigned to create a new course on Internet of Things technology for master student uh, in SKE UTM. We also need to do a lot of research. So trying to deliver everything on uh, the expected time duration is really a big deal for me. So I think uh, this is the biggest, one of the biggest challenges uh, uh, for me. Okay. Right, in order to overcome uh, this challenge, uh, to manage this challenge, we have uh, to work in a team. At least that's uh, for me. So I'm so lucky to have a great team uh, that helped me to manage the challenge, uh, this challenging journey. Uh, hence, the work could be de divided and, and delivered successfully. Besides, uh, we also need to have tools to manage our tight schedule. For example, uh, I use Google Calendar as well as some other uh, project management software. What is the question? Okay. Uh, question, uh, before being an entrepreneur, what are your goals or what are the things uh, that come up in your mind that I, I want to be an entrepreneur? Uh, actually, being an entrepreneur was uh, my uh, one of my dreams uh, since I was uh, I mean, even before I work, even during my undergraduate. So, being an entrepreneur is uh, actually one of my uh, dreams uh, since uh, I was uh, in uh, bachelor degree. So, I have started uh, one company during my bachelor. I just uh, uh, take some uh, product from Alibaba, even though at that, at that time, I think Alibaba is not uh, very popular yet for Malaysian. But we have bought uh, like MP3, MP4 from Alibaba and we sell, I resell it to friends and so families. So I think that that is the first uh, company that I built. It's around 2004. And uh, then I joined UTM as a lecturer in 2006, 2007, sorry. Uh, I joined UTM in 2007. And still I have uh, this dream to be an entrepreneur. To, 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 create things and uh, benefiting uh, the technology for people uh, because I'm actually joining UTM as a telecommunication uh, in with a telecommunication department so telecommunication was my uh, uh, background and uh, that is what I'm uh, actually good at at least what I believe so uh, we have do many research uh, as well as come out with many actually many products even without the companies the product coming from the research we have tried uh, actually trying to engage a lot of uh, parties uh, to try to bring our product that we create from our research to the market but uh, the push is not as as strong as if the company is being uh, uh, being being uh, whole, whole or being uh, run by yourself so I mean, uh, if you give somebody else trying to help you to bring your product to the market, they will stop when they say, when they feel or when they bump to uh, difficulties. So that's where we uh, think that we need our own company. So when I come back from my PhD uh, uh, and I, uh, I joined back uh, my research group and my uh, research team, I saw that there's many uh, product that uh, is uh, that, that there are many product that uh, really has commercial benefits, and uh, we are also lucky because uh, this is the year of IoT. That is the year of IoT 2016. Uh, Everybody is talking about IoT, and we are lucky that we are actually one of the pioneer in IoT. I at that moment, I think we have more than 13 years myself. And I have a colleague uh, in the team who has more than 20 years in IoT technology. So I think, I think that this is the time. So there where we start to engage with ICC and trying to set up the company. And here we are, uh, Inets uh, being born uh, last year as a startup uh, of UTM IoT based spin off company.
Okay, uh, for the for the for in it, uh, we don't have a specific marketing team uh, or a specific uh, sales uh, department. Uh, of course, as a startup, uh, everybody is doing everything. Okay, especially the top management, uh, myself uh, as the CEO, we do everything, including uh, doing the marketing. For the real marketing, we really uh, we work with the partners. For example, uh, our product here, which I just show uh, for the guide, we work with one of the uh, with with a partner, which which is uh, one of the biggest uh, security guard provider company. So we work with them so that they will bring this to the market. Uh, but our company, beside this one, our company, as mentioned earlier, also do a lot of uh, solution-based uh, product, uh, solution-based uh, business. Uh, uh, so for solution-based, most of the time we are the one who uh, engage with the partners. For example, when UMW come, we are the one who goes uh, to them and engage, uh, including our product, uh, that our solution for UMW, MMHE, uh, Shimano's uh, BDB uh, and uh, so on. So those are actually coming from. Uh, I mean, uh, the engagement for the marketing is uh, by our our own uh, top uh, top management based on our network. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Uh, some advice uh, hopefully could inspire uh, into a young entrepreneur if i would uh, i would advise i will ask uh, the new entrepreneur to work on your dream so you i advise you to really really work on it uh, if helping people was your dream so work on it okay so if your dream is to bring the technology to be, to the benefit of the nation you have to work on it uh, never give up and uh, you have to persi persistently keep on going be accountable and responsible on everything that you need to be and i think you will be there okay if you were to start uh, your journey as an entrepreneur uh, i would suggest uh, you to do the things that you are good at you know this is your uh, this is your background this is your strength so that is uh, my advice where do what you know and you are good at and what you most like. Okay, uh, this is, I think this is the same advice given by um, Steve Jobs or even uh, Jack Ma. So doing what you like and what you are good at will actually help you to uh, get a lot of courage during the hard time. So you will keep on going because you are doing things that you know that and you believe that this is the things that will bring you to the success. Uh, it is different if you are doing things that you are just copying from the others. So, because to compete with the other, which uh, better than you, that is not uh, easy. But uh, being doing something that you are better or good at, you will uh, be the pioneer uh, to what uh, you are doing. Okay. Uh, uh, things that we have achieved. Okay, uh, one of the biggest thing that uh, I believe uh, is our achievement is uh, coming back to our mission. So the mission of Inet is actually to bring the technology that we have, specifically IoT technology that we have uh, in the lab, uh, to the real benefit of the uh, community uh, and further to the nation. So we, uh, as far as right now, we have managed to bring a lot of IoT technology uh, to uh, to the real use, and I we believe that uh, that really benefit them uh, according to uh, the engagement and the result that we collected. The, those uh, solution really benefit them. For example, uh, our project uh, with uh, MMHE in Pasir Gudang is. To, to help them to track uh, their pipe, their oil and gas pipe during the uh, construction of uh, the uh, oil and gas platform. So previously it was very difficult for them to search uh, 
uh, pipes, uh, specific pipes for the installation. But now uh, with the IoT technology, they can easily locate the pipes and get the pipe, uh, reduce the time consumption as well as the cost because previously some pipes went missing and uh, after the full installation, then uh, they saw that this is uh, actually at some places. What I'm saying is actually uh, one of the biggest uh, things that I think we achieve uh, here is uh, we, are ma we manage to achieve our mission, uh, bringing the technology that we have in the lab to the market and the benefit of the nation. Okay, uh, I think that's all from me. Thank you so much once uh, again uh, for this opportunity. Uh, thank you.